Hi guys, welcome back to the channel after a brief pause and a weird uploading schedule. But I'm back to normal, hopefully. Can't really make a promise at this point. But today we're going to be doing an in-depth video on my exhaust. I had a couple questions about this. I figured I'd knock it out with a video. That way, if anybody's new and they wanted to see it, they could just go straight to this. I knew I put a couple exhaust clips in, or one actually. Only one exhaust clip in on my walk around. But all that really showed y'all was a start up when the truck was warm, no drive-bys, no cold start. And fun fact, I've actually never heard the sound of my truck, third person. And obviously the camera won't do it full justice, but it will give y'all a strong, strong idea. But I've never heard it because the only other time somebody else drove my truck, it's been my brother. And I was driving his Duramax, which has stacks in the back of it, which I still need to get to a walk around this. We both just haven't had time. But... And the Duramax with the stacks, all I could hear was the Duramax, which wasn't a problem for me, really. But I, will, I am anxious to see what this truck will sound like third person. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm running True Duels, Dual In, Dual Out, Flowmaster Super 44. My truck does have the 5.7 Vortec. And mine is a manual, so you will see some pauses in exhaust notes. Uh, probably a little bit longer than your normal automatic shift. But, see the muffler is right here. There is the Super 44. And it runs over the axle and comes out at 45. It's a two and a half inch inlet, three and a half inch outlet, 12 inch long tip. I was supposed to get fours, but the exhaust shop did it only put on three and a half. And honestly, at the time, it wasn't that bad. I don't really like this look anymore. You can get a look from the back. Obviously, it is not clean, but those exhaust tips for me are just too small. I'm gonna upgrade to some fives and probably have them come out right here, but that won't be anytime in the near future. And under here, you can see, if I can get a look right there, I do still have my cats. I have both of them. I still have the cats because I just don't like the way that uh, sounds out the cats. To me, it's too loud because I drive this every day and I'm more concerned about audio than I really am exhaust because exhaust can get aggravating, but I already got the roll of the tires. Might as well have a good sound in exhaust. But I don't like that straight pipe sound because i was going to get a super 10 but i was afraid that was going to be too high pitched and i don't like the sound of you going five miles an hour and sound like you're hitting five grand on the tack so i went with 44 a little deeper and that's another reason i want to get some deeper tips but without further ado i'm going to get into some uh cold start Probably some revs out from under the shed because the shed will make it resonate and obviously make it seem louder than it is. And then a couple drive-bys at different RPMs and a couple downshifts because it sounds oh so good. So I'm going to throw y'all up on the tripod and we'll get a cold start.
All right, guys, I want to jump on here and do a little outro. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is I didn't do the downshifts because you couldn't hear them very well, so I decided just to edit that part out. And on the topic of editing, you will see a drop in editing quality as I normally use Vegas Pro 16, but having gone from Android to iPhone, I just have a PC, I don't have a Mac. I uh, can't find a surefire way yet of putting the other files on my computer while converting the files to MP4 instead of a mob file. So I can't use Vegas Pro 16, which is why in this video, you're gonna see, you can look down there now, little Filmmaker Pro, just an app I got on my phone for now. Uh, gonna try and find a surefire way of converting. But until I do, it will be a little bit lower quality. But you gotta make sacrifices, I guess. Higher quality camera, lower quali quality editing. So with that, hope y'all enjoyed this one. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for people that take time out of their day just to watch me. But with that, this has been another episode of Flying HTV, and I'm out of here.